soon as the insulation comes, we'll get it in and get the other viscoon over the top. So uh, Dad's testing out our, oh wow. Brian, if you're seeing this, thanks for letting me borrow your rattler every time we need to do this. I know what I'm doing now as well. Jesus, we're having some rain. <laughs> We've just got out of the van now. Waiting for the installation to arrive. It's 20 to 10, sorry. 20 to 11. 23rd of November. I think Guys in the Galaxy is out today. Christmas special. Anyway, we've just got out of the van. Come round here. Luckily, you'll be able to see our um, evolution of centres of wet dry vac. So that's going to help us here. This is our bottom layer of this green. So we need to get all this water out. Ready for the installation. Watch his face. Al? Could you have got an evolution wet dry vac, isn't it? Yeah. Link in the description if you want to buy some evolution gear. Five percent off. Code Brick Lane in capitals. Anyway, yeah, that's what we're up to now. Gonna start loading out, get some blocks loaded out, ready to start. And as soon as the insulation comes, we'll get it in and get the other viscoon over the top. So we've picked a new roll up because that's all we've got left of that roll. Because it's good because you can do it in one piece, which is handy. So, let's get into it. There we have it. That is all we can do for now for loading. It means we get this section, so that section's loaded. This section's loaded. It's about a three and a half block return each side. And then the rest of it's door, big door. That's what that big steel's for. Uh, so that's loaded, this is all loaded. We've stacked them in threes because they're a bit damp and because they're seven Newton concretes, we need them dry. So we've loaded enough for seven cores there, which will take us up to scaffold height, which is up here, seven cores. It's going to be a stretch, but um, yeah, that side's got to be done overhand because the, the 
the board is just too high and out of level so it's easy to do that once the slab's in so that is it for now I'm gonna have a quick dinner because it's 12 o'clock then we've got things like the damp course to put in walls to mark up I think oh, I've already marked up uh, yeah a starter wall starters to put up both sides <clears throat> no toothing because it's block and we're going to use these screw ties on the inside starter packs on the outside what else can we do oh yeah uh, we're going to work out work our bond out and I'm going to do a load of cuts with the uh, with the evolution saw get them all cut ready so it's just profile up line up and get it up so see you after lunch So uh, Dad's testing out our, oh wow, our newest toy that we got from Evolution. Do you want to, uh, give, a, do you want to give a quick word as to what it is, even though it was it's pretty wet obvious? Dry vac. Wet dry vac, cordless, because um, uh, I, think, I think the charger came with it. So it's wet and dry, you, you just change the filter. Um, it's just like a mesh filter, this one. But you've also got the other filter for... Uh, dust uh, obviously and it also has a blow function so you can switch that to the other end and blow things with it obviously blow your dust away it's great for this but the volume of water we've got in there we need to spade it into buckets first and this will like, get the last little bit but it did pick up pretty quick but I think the amount of water that's in there if you show them um, the battery's not going to last long doing that so so I reckon we'll um, brush it to one end scoop it into a bucket and then get the last little bit with that over and out Cute. you can't drop this mic So, it'll just sit on time lapse. I'm doing a bit of improvisation here when you watch when you watch joinery channels on YouTube. I'm using this piece of MDF as a fence for the saw. So I've worked out it's two, three, four to allow for the saw, and end up with. Thank you. 
full straight cut. That's our cut edge. Made up with that, look at that. And that's cut down to exactly 200. 100 slab, 100 insulation, and we're going to tuck that in behind the Celotex. So yeah, made up with that. Bit of, um, bit of YouTube watching, a bit of improvisation does the trick. So I'll, um, I'll put the microphone away and I'll do the next one and we'll just film it all again. So here we go. Two, three, four. Work. Yeah, Alex was a bit skeptical that this wouldn't work, and it does perfectly. And we haven't got much waste here. We've only got a couple of hundred mil over overlap. Cut this into six. That means we've got um, 2.4 times six is 12. 12. About 14.4 linear meters, and our, our floor is roughly 14 point something linear meters, so we've got to be careful with it. Two cut edges then. Made up for that. And two hundred mil. Bang on. So let's get the other four cut.
Action. If you remember, we were doing these at A&E, so Brian, if you're seeing this, thanks for letting me borrow your rattler every time we need to do this. I know what I'm doing now as well. Just gonna put one in the centre and not drill the top one so you can overlap. Yeah. Well, you could drill it, but just don't put the thing in it. I was gonna work into my crush drink, that looks a bit. That's right in the bed, that, that's fine. As long as you're going in vertical, that's it. Yeah. You got ear protection? Yeah, no. Let's cut that out then. <laughs> Are you using the eight, yeah? Ten. Right. Oh, is it a 10? Yeah. I, oh, I, yeah. I, I double checked.
beautiful. That works too. Nice one. You just ruin the, uh, yep. Yeah. Quick, you just dumped the coal bridging strip. What, sorry? Quick, you just dumped the coal bridging strip. Oh, shit. That's a blooper. Right. Mark your calendars. Thursday the 24th of November 2022. This bloody concrete finally came in. <laughs> oh, it's been a long time coming. With a mix of this bloody weather, the waiting for the insulation, just the dig went the dig went that well that all the other elements were against us. But today's the day it finally goes in, and as you can see, it got too dark last night to get it all set up. But we threw the visqueen over, so now we just need to cut it about and tape it in the right places and what have you. So. It's going to be a bit scary this one because um, I don't think we've ever done a slab this big and unfortunately we uh, misplaced our current float or um, finisher trowel as this one's called so um, we have to do a quick nip to tool station grab a new float because obviously you need one of these but nice little bit of new kit into the toy shop but there we go Well, I tell you what, evolution of really a. Uh... Look at this. There's how it, there's how it is everywhere. Which is it went in dry. That's just con that's just it's not rain. That's condensation out here. Yeah, that's just condensation. Gathering because it's warm underneath and cold on the top. It's just flooded. And we've got no rags, we forgot to bring the rag with us to dry the visqueen out. Plus we didn't realise it was going to be this wet. We've tried sponge, we've tried insulation, and then we thought, why not give this a, give this a blow? And because it's got this, I mean we could use a sort of deep you know, hoover function as well. Look at that. That so, speaks for itself, that. So all, all you do is, you just swap ends. And there we go. Dead light, so easy to use, dead small, does the job. If you go to our the link in the description below, there's a link to the um, Evolution website and then code Brick Lane in capitals, you'll get 5% off anything you buy from Evolution. Nice one.
So, as you can see, we're finally set up and it is now. Catch up twice as long as it should have done. Yeah. Because it's it's wet. 20 past nine, so we couldn't it fine. 10 minutes till they show up roughly, but that's just finishing that corner off now, but it's done now, we're ready. All taped off, gone around the gully, sorted out this door. What we've done here, I'm sure Dad's explained already, but we've not gone, we've not done an upstand with this one, so the concrete can just run through and there's no breaks in the concrete, so it connects to the existing floor. And obviously the corners are in, planks are ready for the concreters, so let's hope this goes well now, we're onto the scary part. So see you when the paw comes in. Right, and here they are. 10 past 10. They were running a little bit later today, which worked out good for us because we got plenty of time to get set up now. So here we go. <laughs> Let's begin. In the next hour, hopefully this will be nice and uh, filled up and ready. There we have it. Concrete is in. Oh, what on earth is that? Anyway, concrete's in. Massive thank you to the concrete company for getting that in. Slab and the footing. But yeah, so that's the that's the easy part done. Now comes the fun part of trying to get this uh, level and flat on this big ass slab with nothing to tamp off of. <laughs> but we got this. Bring out the new 
new toy, like I said. And I just give it a quick try doing that little uh, logo thing and it uh, felt quite good, so. All right, wish us luck. Let's see how this goes. like it's always a great help and if you're new to the channel if you want to see more of this and everything else that we do be sure to subscribe and tap on that bell to be able to have a number of your thank you again it's always a massive help to uh, get the support you guys give so this has been a good thing with Steve and Alex the, the longest slot we've ever, we've ever done see you in the next one